I am the most honored of honored ancestors, according to African martial arts traditions. And I'll tell you why. Not only am I the greatest martial artist this country has ever seen, and I achieved that being covertly drugged, sabotaged, fumed with toxic fumes in my own car, in my own room, every single day, oppressed, suppressed, set up to go to the psych ward, even sexually assaulted to try to get me to slip into a state of depression, alcoholism, and substance abuse. They failed miserably. Now let's look at who are the enemies of Ebo. Let's face it, the white power structure and the international financiers are the enemies of Ebo. They are greater enemies than even the Muslims in the North. And why, you might ask? Well, look at the history of the slave trade. Look at all the Ebos that their policies have aborted here and abroad. Look at how they supplied the enemies of Ebo during our darkest hour. How they did not give us aid during our darkest hour. I mean, when you add everything up, the Jews and the whites are the biggest enemies of Ebo, and their center of power is America the biggest military in the world with all their military spending, all their cheating, sabotage. I have conquered them all. And I mock these silly cowards every day. I egg them on. I provoke them. I say, look, you pussies. If you can beat me, try to beat me. The last person they sent lost 10-0. <laughs> you think they're not hiding? <laughs> Oh boy, I think we're all much past that by now. After the nine witnesses, the PSYOP playlist, and everything that's happened, I think we're much beyond these people even being able to pretend to play stupid about that now. <laughs> anyway, a master of the martial art who remained true to the accompanying moral code could become a transcendent hero, the most honored of ancestors who could be called upon for guidance in important matters and could reincarnate among the living while retaining a position among the dead ancestors. Now, all you shrinks who want to talk about delusions of grandeur, <laughs> I would love for you to make that argument in a bar in southeastern Nigeria full of drunken Igbos. You say that Igbo martial arts traditions are obsolete. They have no relevance in the spiritual world. Your beatdown will be socially normative, you fucking stupid shits. So according to the most honorable tribe, the highest performing group in America, Nigerians. I am the closest to God. How's that for intellect over superstition? How's that for science, history, and logic? over propaganda. How's that for truth over sniveling cowards? <laughs> Accept it, read it, and weep, you fucking cowardly, sniveling, pitiful, pathetic weaklings. Weaklings. Weak, weak, weaklings. So saith the top martial artist in American history and the closest man to God on this planet according to the traditions of the most intellectual group of people according to mainstream scales and scholarly perspectives. Read it and weep, you sniveling dogs. I am closest to God. My message to the cowards whether they're from the University of Phoenix or the FBI on Bayshore in Palo Alto, the FBI in San Francisco, Santa Clara County Sheriff Department, regardless who the people are who put me in the gang stalking program to be targeted, the whole world has to suffer 
because you don't want to admit that the same group of people that has outsmarted you in the academic world and every other group has also outsmarted you in martial arts. Your argument is that the same group of people that has outsmarted you in your own nation, in your own language, right here in America, couldn't possibly outsmart you in martial artists in martial arts and become the best. Oh yeah, you know, he's he's a brain surgeon's son, you know, a brain surgeon from the most successful academically people in America. And yet you people expect everyone to believe that in martial arts, which requires mental conditioning, magically, <laughs> magically, the people who we beat in every aspect of life, mind, body, and soul, somehow, even though they're hiding, shivering under a blanket in shame, somehow, all the truth is irrelevant and one of them is better. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Anyway, so let's go back to the book, shall we? We'll do it by the book, you bitches. <laughs> ah, okay, page 11. Fighting for Honor, the history of African martial art traditions in the Atlantic world. Ladies, feel the shame. And yes, and yes, I am going to go over this again. Because <laughs> I don't want anyone to miss this. Mastery in either art could bring a skilled practitioner respect for his graceful execution, the admiration of potential wives, and economic advancement. Now, I want you all to ask yourselves, who is more skilled than the top in all of American history who got there? crushing the competition with a flawless record, over a hundred victories, no losses, which is rubbed in by the last victory, 10-0, over someone who could beat most of you critics. So, ah, before you say something, you pussy, the challenger I beat 10-0 could beat your martial arts master and your bitch ass on his worst day. Yes, I am champ, pussies. Never forget that. Each art provided a path of spiritual development. Now, this is historical, bitches. This is socially normative. This is historical. These are traditions that lasted for thousands of years that came into the Americas and evolved. What is more socially normative than that? Some pseudoscience that sprung up in 1808 and has never proven a single assertion that it has made? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, that kills a half a million people a year that everyone is skeptical of at best. At best, the people we call shrinks. We call big black warriors the fucking truth. We call psychiatrists shrinks. Now, if we're going to play the socially normative card in this <laughs> scenario, if we're going to have a s debate over the socially normative aspects of each, I wonder who would prevail. No, I don't wonder. It would be me. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. And all you hussies, all you sniveling whores, look at you now. Did you stand with your people all proud? You know, all you Angelus Davis types with your afros out, you know, putting your fist in the air. Did you stand with me or are you a bunch of government bootlicking cowards that know nothing about God? know nothing about African spirituality, and know nothing about African martial arts traditions. Ain't that about a bitch? It's funny how we're talking about bitches, and that's about a bitch. It's about a bitch. Yeah. I want you all to just, let's just have a moment of silence here. For all those idiots who have sided with Big Brother against me. 
all the cowardly martial artists that in a few hours will be another day closer to ultimate defeat. Let's have a moment of silence for people who don't see things my way. <laughs> see how they have been utterly destroyed again. How does it feel, all you eugenicists, to be intellectually, spiritually, and physically put to shame? Talking about superior stock. What is more superior than Chuku Omeka? By the book, I am closest to God. Covertly drugged. Let me read you this real quickly. So you remember who you're fucking with. 2013 to 2016. $3,000 challenge. Covertly drugged with PSYOP impairing him. Transcendent hero Chukwu Ameka, the immortal leopard wins. And I do mean wins. The other one. Heru, the top martial artist in America. $3,000 challenge. For three years. Honorable. Transcendent. Supreme. Champion. And I would like to add timeless. Because no one will ever be able to do what I've done. For all you young martial artists. Of African descent especially. Who are tickled pink. By this. Where she's turned pale. Trying to capture. Trying to catch your breath. Because it's so funny how I've played out the enemies of God, the black man, and righteousness and honor. I want you all to remember, when you are thinking of ancestors, to call upon for inspiration. Especially in this land. Remember that Chuku Emeka is the bell that rings the loudest. The loudest actions speak louder than words and I am a fucking sun-sized bill that rings the loudest nothing is more intensely hilarious than the truth rubbed in the faces of oppressive liars Can I get an amen?